Chabellos! Welcome! Welcome to Pasta Carbonara. This is a simple Italian dish. It originally came from Rome. Typically, the sauce is made with an emulsion between egg yolks, olive oil, and pasta water. We're gonna make this vegan. We wanna Who's make this healthier. Uh, we're and, make... and we're bringing in a fair bit of Jeopardy here now. So, uh, so we're gonna veganify this, as we said, but we're gonna try and do it in five minutes as well. Try, emphasis the word in try. I think we can uh, do it. Should be interesting. Anyway, so here we go. Pasta Carbonara in five minutes. Welcome to the journey. Boom! Okay, Party first started. step, we have pa water on bo water boiling, lots of salt in it. I have 200 grams of whole meal pasta. I'm using noodles that will cook in four minutes. Yeah, noodles are, noodles are, you wouldn't do this in five minutes unless you're using the noodles, because pasta itself takes five, nine to 11 minutes. Okay, so will you put oil in the pan there, Mr. Yes, Brennan? I've got the pan on a high heat. I had this uh -huh. on beforehand. Okay, I have two cloves of garlic, <laughs> and I'm chopping Thank finely. Um, oh yeah, the pan's lovely and hot. Oh, nice. Right. Love a hot pan. I'm gonna get a bit of genuine. Oh, I'm gonna get a bit of, bit of onion sizzle. action go. Okay, in the pan. Oh, a bit of sizzle. That's a bit of good sizzle. <sighs> okay, let's get the scunions on. So two red onions. Beautiful. Do they have to be red, Stephen, or could I use white onions? I think red's better, because typically in a carbonara, it's pancetta, which is pink looking, so it will create a similar aesthetic. Wow, you've done your homework, haven't you? Yeah, uh, and we're gonna use, um, Shiitake! Wow, my onions, oh, my, my garlic's browning up very quick. Nice, okay, well that's good, right. Here we get this in there, quick. So try to cut it in half moons if you can. <laughs> in they go. Beautiful. Turn the heat down there, Mr. Flynn. Heat's down as low as it goes. I'll do the onions if you want to do something else. Okay, so chop the other onion. While that's happening, I'm gonna make the sauce, and as I mentioned, the sauce is based around cashew nuts. So I have 100 grams of cashew nuts that I've soaked in boiling water for five minutes, no more than that. Drain them, take them out, and we're gonna pop them into our blender. In on top of that, I have 300 ml of soy milk or non-dairy milk or milk of choice. In so I could milk. use oat milk? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Uh, nutritional yeast, I have a good pinch of it. And typically, as I mentioned, there's pancetta in it, which often has a smoky flavor. I have some liquid smoke, so I'm gonna add in approximately there, about one teaspoon. In that goes, and I'm gonna put in a generous pinch of salt. Uh, am I gonna add the shiitakes in here now? So that's about a teaspoon of salt. Yep, chop up, so we have a good handful of shiitakes that Dave's gonna chop so up. So what's a shiitake? Shiitake is a typical meaty, it's one of the meatiest of all mushrooms. Typically it comes, it's used in Asian cooking. If I couldn't stuff. get shiitake, what else would I use? Your mushroom of choice. Yeah. Oyster, oyster goes great. I don't know, I'm going too fast to check. Okay, so in goes our uh, shiitake mushroom, mushrooms, AKA our pancetta replacements. Time-wise. Two minutes, 19 left. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I think we can do it. Just to can't recap, too. in the pan we have two cloves of garlic, two red onion and a good handful of shiitake mushrooms. As Finally the shiitake shiced. mushrooms start to cook off, I'm taking out our liquid smoke again. So if you can get a liquid smoke that's based around tamari, this one's based around tamari with kind of a smoke. If you don't use tamari and a little bit of smoked paprika to create that smoked flavor. So that's just to recap on that, if you don't have liquid smoke, use a bit of tamari. So probably two tablespoons of tamari and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. So I've gone with one, one and a half tablespoons of liquid smoke, which might seem like a lot, but this is quite a gentle liquid smoke. Okay. Smells good. Yeah. Smells like smoky bacon. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little bit of our sauce in just to try to get it initially just in so that it'll start to, it'll start to kind of evaporate a little bit and thicken up and it'll also the mushroom. One minute 27! Okay, I'm gonna drain our noodles. Okay, noodle draining time. And then is it, are we gonna do it all in this pan? Yeah, let's yeah. finish it. Okay, pan. here we go. One minute left, one minute left, folks. This is so exciting. Wow. Okay, so once again, I'm not rinsing my noodles. I'm just gonna go straight into the pan with them. Because we do want a bit of that starchy water. It's gonna help just create, just make it slightly creamier sauce. So as the sauce starts to stick, let's add in the rest of that sauce. You're in charge of stirring, Mr. Flynn? Yes, sir, Mr. Flynn. Lovely. Ooh, nice. Okay, Last so it looks final proper step. cream. If you want to put in some vegan cheese, if not, put nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna go in with vegan cheese and I wanna get it just to melt a little bit. And if you wanna make your own, we made a really good video for vegan parmesan up here. It's really good, it's a sprinkle on kind of one made with cashew nuts and nutritional yeast. It's very good, genuinely. Nice creamy dish. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Good. 
go with a pinch of chili. Traditionally, there's not chili in it, but I think chili's great. Yeah, chili. And the Italians bigger. don't like to mix recipes or break frameworks, but I'm putting a little. 26 seconds. Go okay. on, the lads. Last and final thing we have. I'm going to knock it off the heat because we've. Serve with your herb of choice. Traditionally, it's Parmesan put on top, but I think a little bit of basil just helps the dish pop and just adds another dimension of flavor. Apologies to any Italians, because traditionally, this is not in the dish. But, okay, a um, couple of forks. Let's get it in there. Four, three, three two, two, one. one. Yay! Wow, it's really There we go, pretty. done in five minutes. There you go, pasta carbonara. Pasta carbonara okay. in five minutes. Someone asked, could we plate it up and just make it look nice? So I'm gonna do that in honor of that person. Okay, cool. I can't remember. I did, I did read your comment though. So I'm just gonna put it in a dish. Oh, I had little tongs to make it look pretty. I'll mention the book there, Mr. Glenn. Oh yeah, cool. Oh, we've got a new book. Uh, it's available for pre-order. It's coming out soon. It's called Recipes for Happiness. It's really cool. It's a hundred vegan recipes that make us happy. And we've got a whole section on happiness. So, um, yeah. I guess, check it out. There's a link below if you're interested in it. So you'll see, it's a very creamy dish. You'll see the red onion kind of does look like pancetta. And when you do get one, one of those really shiitakes, does. it's gonna pop. And there is a good smell of the liquid smoke as well. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. That's class. Mmm. It's really creamy, isn't it? Delicious it tastes dinner. bacony. Like it tastes like bacon, it's because, mad. Because it has that little bit of liquid smoke. So just to recap, if you can't get liquid smoke, a little pinch of smoked paprika will do the job. And a bit of tamari. Very what good a dish. tasty dinner. Like look at that. Just That's delicious. really good. In five minutes now. Dudes, I could not recommend making that more. That is so tasty and delicious and satisfying. It just feels mm. really, really good. This is perfect for anyone looking for a health kick. Uh, share with anyone looking for recipe inspiration and lower in calorie, higher in fiber, higher in nutrition. Carbonara coming at you. Thanks for watching, dudes. And thanks Bye. for subscribing.